so now to use and uh, test these functions that we have already born we will need to go to the route and create a web dot php file and the, in this file we will create a php code we will use the app slash call slash the router and we will add a get route by adding the get with the link will be a slash and the function that we it is a handler for example let's say it is a echo welcome from web.php like that those this is is our function it is the get function we pass the path and the handle the path is slash so it is none and the function it will be the welcome so that's it and we will go to a last thing for the app because we didn't yet initialize our app application so to test that and make sure that everything is okay we start by creating a app class and add a run method so let's go to add a app class a class app like that and in this app class we will define a function public function function we will call this function run to run our application it will take no arguments and what we exactly need is to make sure that everything will run okay we should create an before creating a new instance from the app and running our application we within the run method we need to include the web.php so we will require this file require the web.php web or php file so when we, we require this file we first store our const array our routes in the router and when storing this all of this route in our router now we can route the request and say where to go and initialize our router to match the list of routes the all routes we have so we need first to get the path the path will be the http slash okay let me change that this is for path and this is will be a string http slash slash we will get the server the server the server ah the server host as each what ah. http http host and server request you are you are and we will call the router we will use the called app slash call slash router like this is in the namespace and the router and for the router we will call the route function the route method that handle all the requests and we will pass in arguments we will pass in argument server the server 
request method to know if we ha it is a get or a post or a put or a delete and we also paste the path okay that seems good now we will return to autoload and we will create a app instance we will create equal to new app and we will run this app up first run let me check and it's relaxed or not found okay so now we need another thing is to go to our config config app and add here in the end app public okay and like this it is good so 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 we go to the web uh, for, for parent here a uh, hello ah nothing wrong and uh, let me remove all of those where are where was the comments we return to the path it is not here i think it was it was where it was up auto -load. i'm sorry i did forget what is there yes, yes. ah it is in the web it is in the index of php let me remove this and uh, okay it will be something like this but if we i go to this link slash hello public slash hello something triggered we got some errors okay it seems like we have an error in the router.php let's go again to the router.php and c5 the handler is, ah i think the error is was her because we you search the index of this route in the arrow in the route links so if we do something like that no it wasn't her and load index route ah, another another error is that must be array and yes it works now fine and if we go to any link it will not work it will redirect to the 40 zero, zero not found page and if i am in the hello page our uh, message will be is displayed and the same thing if i did add any other link like for example from whom and this like that and if i make something like that it should be like that. so after we check now the result of the whole the our pages and everything runs smoothly and runs smooth and work fine i hope this was clear and helpful if you may have any question or comments leave them below thanks you for watching and I will see you in the next video.